Hi you guys, Mystic at the Crossroads here. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's going on? Um, tonight's video, this is a video response to Miss Rita. And um, I'm not gonna say her last name, but you know who you are. And she asked me if I can show a road opener spell. So I wanted to show you guys, in fact, I was getting ready to do one anyway tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it is that I use and tell you how I do it and where you can get the supplies from. So this here is a road opener candle. You can see it, it says road opener, Aure Camino. Um, and as you can see, it says love, success, road opener, health. Now, what is a road opener spell? A road opener spell is a spell that you use to clear out and open the path to your success, to open the roads, to remove any obstacles in your way from achieving whatever it is that you want. Road opener spells can be done by themselves, so meaning you can do just the road opener spell if you want to open the path to your success, or you can combine them with other spells. What I like to do for my clients is I will do a road opener spell either prior to or in conjunction with spell workings so that way the path is cleared and opened up and then whatever it is that I'm working on to manifest from them has a has an open an open road to get to them so for example if you were looking for a new love relationship or you're trying to get rid of any bad luck or you were looking to get a, a promotion or raise at your job I would do a road opener to open the path and then cast the spell for whatever it is that you want. Now the road opener candle here can be purchased at a Botanica. Um, you could possibly find them at like a new agey metaphysical type store. I have seen these in grocery stores and very seldom, but if you have a Latin market in your neighborhood, it is possible that you could have them because you, they could have them because this is where I have found them at. Um, road opener candles, as you can see, are orange, green, and yellow. The orange is for the road opening, the green is for money and love, and the yellow is for good luck and success. Um, if you cannot find this specific candle at your local store, it can be ordered. I will post in the description box two companies that I have been purchasing magical supplies from for about 20 years. Um, they do ship all throughout the United States. They are very reasonable and they have good quality products and they definitely have this. If for some reason you don't really want to order one and you can't find one, you do not have to have this specific candle. You can get yourself a plain orange candle in the seven day glass. Uh, I know you're wondering why I say just the orange when this one has three colors. Really because the orange is, is for the road opening and then the other two colors, like I said, are for the love and money and success. Um, you could even do three individual candles in each color if that's what you want to do. But orange is the color for a road opening. Um, also, another reason why I like this candle is because we all know that words and symbols give off their own vibration and their own energies, and this already has everything on it. But if you had a plain candle, you can simply write on there, road opener, write your petition on there, write whatever it is that you want the road to be open to. So that is an option. Now, along with the road opener candle, and again, this is what I like to do. We always want to add as much energy to our candle so that our spells are successful. You want a conditioning oil. Now we'll hold this one up so you guys can see it. Hopefully you can see, but this says road opening. And if you look down here, Indio products, that's the little, um, that's the little logo for the company. It's kind of hard to see. Now, I have said this before in my videos, I am very, very particular about the conditioning oils that I use for candle spells. Now, yes, it is about your intent and you are gonna infuse it with your magical energy to make your spell successful. But I have found that some oils that are mass produced are nothing more than just mineral oil, water, fragrance, and you know alcohol and water. They, they don't have any, properties of essential herbs and 
at least for me, the entire purpose of using an oil is to have the herbal properties to put inside the candle to enhance the power. This too came from um, Indio Products. They are based out of Los Angeles and you can order this. And the reason why I like their oils is their oils, even though it doesn't list it really on here, um, their oils are produced with the herbal essence, the essential herbs. And again, I've been purchasing from them for about 20 years now, so their products are very good. In conjunction to that, you can use a sachet powder, road opener, and the sachet powder again is to anoint your candle. And what you would do is after you put your herbs and you've blessed and everything, you would sprinkle some of the powder along the top. And basically what the powder is, it's powdered up road opener, the combination of the herbs that's known for opening the roads. And you can put that in there. So what I like to do is you always want to cleanse your candle first. Cleanse it from the energies that it's encountered. It's been through a lot of hands between the manufacturing, the shipping, the store shelf, the person that rang it up, and now home to you. So you want to clean your candle. Um, there are various methods of cleansing your candle, which can be smudged, holy water, um, Florida water, incense smoke. And if you guys don't know how to do that, leave me a comment below, and I'm happy to do a video on that. But you can find videos on YouTube. There's plenty of them. So I would cleanse my candle very well. I would pray over it. And you really want to put your energy into it. Like, you know, I don't just cleanse my candle, put oil in it, and go light it. No, I hold my candle. I put my intent into it. I put my energy over it. I blow my breath into the candle. I will walk around my house for 15, 20 minutes holding my candle, getting the energy into it, focusing on what it is that I need, sitting with it, you know, really infusing the candle with your energy and your intent. Then what I do is with a some type of sharp object that you have, I poke holes in the candle. Remember to do it clockwise because you are trying to bring in to you. And I anoint the candle on the inside with the, with the oil. And what I like to do also is I will take some oil into my hands and I will anoint the candle going upward. Just a little bit on the outside because you're bringing it in. Then I will sprinkle my powder. And the next thing you have the option of doing is writing your petition. You can write your petition on just a simple um, paper bag. If you don't have parchment paper, people have been using paper bags for years. And what a lot of people in videos will say to do is write your petition and put it under the candle. If you want to do that, that is fine. Your words and your intent and vibration will still infuse with the candle. But me personally, I don't like to put it under the candle because I feel like... Well, the spirits can't move it and look up under and see what it says. So I will either tape it on my candle, or I will write exactly what it is that I want on here. Okay? So you have several options. Um, I'm not saying one option is better than the other, or one is right or wrong. I'm just telling you what I do and what works for me. Then once you do that and your candle has been prepared and has been anointed, again, you want to pray over your candle. Set your intent into your candle. You know, you maybe even want to place it under the moonlight, if you will, for a little bit. Tonight is the full moon. You can do that. You can put it on your altar. Whatever your in intuitive self tells you to do with the candle, and then go ahead and proceed with your spell or your ritual and lighting it. Now, do I think just lighting this road opener candle and walking away for days is going to clear everything out of your path? No. Like with any spell, you have to put your energy into it. You have to work this candle. You have to sit with it and pray over it and talk to it. it is, this is your baby. This is what's going to clear the path for your life. So you want to diligently put some energy into it, just like any of your other spells. Um, will this one candle and one spell work? Maybe, maybe not. The thing about doing magic and what I tell people is you have to continue to work your magic and ask for what it is that you want until it manifests. It's not likely that one candle and one spell and one night or even three nights of praying over it is going to bring about what you want instantaneously. You really have to diligently work and ask for it. I have worked spells for one night. I worked them for three. I've worked spells for three months, you know, 
I've done spells for nine days in a row. It just kind of all depends on what you're doing. But um, my point is, put some energy into it. This is a very easy spell, but it's also a very, very powerful one, and it will definitely, definitely work. If you have any questions, comments, um, please leave them in the comment box below. You can hit me on Facebook under Jasmine Atten, A-T-E-N, Mystic at the Crossroads. Send me a private message. I am more than happy to help you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Happy witching.